right on the line here on the Roman Show, we have UFC heavyweight champion Kane Velasquez. Welcome to the show, Kane. This Saturday, UFC 156, Alistair Overeem versus Bigfoot Silva. Uh, Alistair Overeem, a guy who was a champion over in Strike Force and could possibly be an opponent for you, Kane. Tell us about this fight, and, and are you going to be watching it closely this Saturday? Yeah, definitely. You know, it seems like every, every heavyweight fight out there, you know, you you always have to watch. You know, who who's up and coming, who's who's kind of getting close to uh, being at the top. Um, you know, it's kind of a thing of just doing your homework. But um, but yeah, you know, in this fight, um, I think you know the UFC has said if uh, Overham wins, then he's next in line for a title shot. So definitely watching this fight, you know, closely, um, and you know, just just waiting to see what happens. And Kim, where where will you be watching the fight? Will you be watching at home? Will you be watching it with friends or with your coaches? Um, I'm gonna be here in Las Vegas, um, watching the fight. So you'll be actually in in the in the arena. You'll be out there in the in cage side. Yes, yes, in the event itself. Yes. Is that is that in any way intimidating? You would say for your opponent, knowing that hey, you know, I'm keeping a close eye on you. You know, you could be next on my list. No, no, definitely not. You know, it's a thing of if you got a fight, you're just thinking about your fight. Nothing else around it. You know, not nothing else around it. Just um, the fight itself, and that's it. Focus on that. You know, you can't think about what's going to happen afterwards, or think about you know the next fight. You just think about you know your your fight at the moment. And uh, knowing that if if Alistair does get a get a win, a victory against Silva. Would you step inside the cage and uh, perhaps shake hands and talk to him one on one and say, hey, you know, I'll, I'll see you next time inside the cage? You know, it's the thing of like, I guess the, the UFC tells you to go in the cage. I'm not. I mean, I don't care. You know, I mean, you know, it's like I don't want to go in there and you know have have him um, just kind of uh, be happy with his win and everything else. You know, it's, I think it's kind of dumb. I mean, because we're gonna, you know, regardless, we're gonna meet in the cage anyways. You know, there's no point of somebody going in before, in in after after somebody's win. So, um, do you see having to go in there? Then yeah, but you know, other than that, no. Does it take away from the fact that you know you just get to win and you go in there trying to you know ruin his ticket, you know, take a parade? It's kind of kind of like a disrespectful, you would say, to do that. Um, you know, it's not up to you, you know, uh, you know, um, but but yeah, you know. It, uh, I, I feel like it does. You know, I feel like it does. Um, I would like it to just uh, not even be, you know, go in there. You know what I mean? Now, if Alistair does not come out with a victory, uh, any other name that you could possibly go up against? I know last time we spoke, you said JDS, but, you know, just like you did, you went ahead and got another victory before you got another shot at the title. You yeah. Mean rematch. So any other guy that you could possibly think or that they have totally had a good Alistair to win, maybe this guy will, will be up next. Yeah, I'm. I'm not sure. You know, it's up to the UFC to decide. Um, which, but we, yeah, just wait and see what happens with this fight. But uh, you know, um, yeah, the, the UFC will will decide that. Awesome, Ken. Well, thanks so very much. And what have you been doing lately here uh, as a as a champion, going around in several places and visiting and talking to uh, media? Yeah, I done. You know, did that whole media tour. Um, after that was done, went home. Um. You know, slowly get so slowly getting back into training. You know, slowly start lifting again, kind of you know regaining that strength back. Um, slowly getting getting to the gym again. Um, and yeah, just doing family stuff, man. Yeah, that's it. Awesome. Well, King, thanks so very much, man, for taking some time and speaking to us. And uh, I hope to see you again inside the cage and and uh, retain that belt again and and wear it properly for the for the Latinos. Cool, sounds good, thank you.